What that was the crack. My name is Roger Runner and welcome back to Life is Strange 2 Episode 2. So, quickie recap, we no longer have Little Mushroom with us because she unfortunately uh, met a very unfortunate end through no fault of her own. But I still wonder if things could have been different had I not let her out of the house, would she still be with us? <sighs> I, I, I don't know. Time marches forward, it doesn't go backwards, so the only thing we can do is go forward and progress through the game. And at some point, again, in my own time, I'll buy this game on PS4 slash PS5 and go through the various different uh, options myself. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. Oh, good idea. I mean, you can't go down and just your jocks. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. No, it's, it's only been a month. Sheesh. Oh, it's a blanket. Ah, okay. Pretty badass. So, where do I get dressed? Oh, here we go. And you can hear Daniel is having the time of his life with Grand Peppy. All right. I'm allowed to go out now. After sleeping that short? I don't think so. Then again, I shouldn't be one to judge. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Of course I am. Almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Alright, when I'm ready, first I want to speak to Granddaddy here. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um... <laughs> It's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. I won't. Alright, but your boy Sean needs his beauty sleep too. And although sometimes there aren't even enough hours in today. Oh, bathroom. Yeah, gotta take that morning steam. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Exactly. Be respectful. No, sorry, I, I thought that was a second bathroom because I thought the sign there said bathroom. So, time to take my morning steamy dump. Excuse me. I hope we won't I, get Claire excuse, into trouble. Ah. Ah, much better. Okay, uh, after that, that dirty dump best, wash my face and my hands. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I don't know, I'm guessing an insane amount of luck. Ooh, we got medicine. Okay, we don't need any of it, though. So, time to head downstairs and... Ooh, what's here? Pray tell. It's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. Hmm, you definitely sound like you don't give a frick. Yo, Shima, what's good? Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. Get any cookies for me? Oh, aquarium, that's nice. Is there anything fun to look at? Oh, we've got a nice big HD TV. Mm -hmm. What is a home without a big ass TV? Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's oh. not bad. Feels like. Oh, sorry, I interrupted the dialogue. Sorry. Breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me your box car. Stephen, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the box car later. Yeah, you tell him, clear. But now here comes the serious talk. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> 
Thanks for the offer. <laughs> oh, because she's right, super Uchima. Right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yeah, Aww. has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> Guess we know who wears the pants in this family. Or pantaloons, I should say. Ah, uh, sugar. Spice and everything nice. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. <laughs> Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. Ooh, As those usual. are some good eats. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Hopefully not too cozy. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe. Unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand. Oh, yeah, Chris and Charles. Back to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. Oh, you can make friends. So we are going to say Chris and Charles again. But I really hope we can really help Chris out and maybe Charles too. Because it really felt bad for the man, Captain Spirit. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Are you crazy? Hey, what's going on back there? Nothing. Oh, and I thought Stephen was a fast eater. <laughs> hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. Don't. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Watch your... Exactly. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Prompt. But be careful, nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Good idea. Now, maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. Exactly. He can't be cussing in front of Grandma. Now, Sean. Nothing to see. Both, both options here are both sort of confrontational. Uh, but I'll just go with Daniel needs to know. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Yeah, that definitely won't stop us from trying to break in, though. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, of course. Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. 
There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanny old freak. Panky. Okay, so we gotta get that key and get us some toys for a small boy. Small boy being Daniel. Ooh, travel pictures. Gotta look at these. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? Believe it or not. Oh, that's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? <laughs> well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Stephen could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was like a mini paradise. Of course he would. That doesn't mean you'll think that. We'll see. What do you think about Puerto Lobos? You saying it's a bad area? How dare you? Hey, Claire. What's on your mind, Sean? Uh, what do you think of that? Ooh. Yeah, actually, yeah, what do you think of that? What did you think of that? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban just? was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Did you even try? Did you? I wish we would have. Some bridges you can't cross. I can only live with regrets now. Don't worry. You guys taking care of us is... all he would have wanted. That's a very kind thing of you to say, Sean. Thank you. I don't know, but I'm picking up some sort of racial tensions between herself and Esteban. I don't know if it's just me, but maybe that could have been the case. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. <laughs> Man. Ooh, that long. That's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... Uh, yeah, almost. I almost started dating this one person. But I guess... Not anymore. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. And hopefully for the better. And what about Dad's funeral? Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time. But we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully... You can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. After all this blows over. And lastly, the neighbors. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach. But had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. Oh. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think Daniel would be a good influence on him. He's got a great role model, after all. <sighs> Thanks. I'm trying my best. Well, thanks, Claire. Yeah. You are very Peace out. welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. Okay, need to take another morning dump? No? Okay, we, we good. So now, where is Stevie boy? 
I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. Daniel's going nuts in here. Ooh, can we play with this? Push the button, push the hey. button, push the button. What's up? Oh. So you actually shut up one time. The train is about to leave the station. I'm new to the job, but I'm ready, Chief. Now, I could be a real superhero and save the train from disaster. Oh, we can I adjust the train speed and everything. I came here years ago. Man. Things were so different back then. Slower. Faster. And we can make the train stop. This model is so amazing. Yeah. Grandpa says it took decades to build. Can you believe it? It's crazy. It's way cooler than anything I ever did in Minecraft. Wait, will it stop here or? Oh, no, to turn on the switch, set to forward. Watch out, the train is going to derail. Ah, it's, it's fine, it won't. And Trevor does, it does. Grandpappy loves her, so he can't be mad. And there we go. That's enough playing. Where is a uh, Stevie Boy Wonder? He's not hiding out in our room, that's for sure. Hello, Granddad, you in here? Yeah, maybe not. Downstairs, perhaps? Can't believe it's already been a week since we got here. Oh, that long. Jeez, how time just absolutely flies. Oh, spooky. Ah. That's better. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Dear husband, if you do laundry, please follow these simple rules. Do not mix whites and colors. Ever. Again, more racial undertones. Use one cup of detergent, red box, for each load. If you wash my clothes, use the delicate cycle so you don't ruin any more of my clothes. Love, wife. But if I had tongue and cheek going on there, I, I see, maybe. And where does this lead? Garage? Underground basement. Oh, no, just that pantry. Hmm. Don't, don't see Grandpappy anywhere. And uh, here, maybe? Hmm. Uh, ah, here you are. I think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. You muttering under your breath, old man. Whoa, oh, geez, whoa, 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 hey. Sorry, I've I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. So uh, okay, uh, sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, You're a dangerous uh, old man. Can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Oh, more serious talk. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. Okay, Grandpappy, let's talk business. So, Who's in your will? Listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. Uh -oh. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Uh, when he says notice things... That could be anything. I mean, uh, we, we could try and tell the truth or we could hide the secret. And I think it's best to hide the secret or tell the truth. I don't know, 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 I don't know. Oh, man. It could be anything. Uh, you know what? I'll hide the secret because what he's saying is vague. It could mean anything. Um... 
Not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like some kind of invisible force, like the holy gift or something. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. That's what he meant. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Um... Uh, not. Thanks. Maybe we could, but... Why not? I know being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but <laughs> this is your home now. Oh, thanks for that, Bobby. Cool. Love you. Kind of different, but I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Yeah, well. I could say you don't know him, but again, he, that comes off as a bit aggressive. And plus, he's our grandpa. He loves us. Of course we love him not. too. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh, Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed. Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. That oh, will do. Now, that was a bit odd. Now, I'm yeah, not... Be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. And a death trap. Thanks. Now, I'm not sure if Grandpuppy knew about her powers or not. I see you in my... Oh, thanks. Whatever, Grandpa. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <laughs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. What? Hey, Daniel! Can I not even play RuneScape? This work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. Yeah, busy my ass. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. Jeez. Definitely not behind this door. Oh. Hiding under the bed. Hey, dead bodies underneath there. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, we still have mushrooms, bandana. Oh, man, I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. No, it's cool that we got to keep it though. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but why are we playing this game? Don't know why we're gonna search here because he's obviously not behind. I know the you're in there. Gotcha. What the? Behind you. <laughs> yeah. 
Very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You Not tidy use your the messes our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Yeah, sure. It's hot. I know. Thanks. Okay, I really want to see Chris again, so I'm just gonna breeze through this very quickly. Yeah, and the washing machine room is yonder here, I do believe. Yeah. Let me just throw our clothes in the machine and we're good. Okay, there we go. How many programs does this thing have? One too many. Oh, okay. It will do. Watch this now. He'll probably break the washing machine, I bet. Wait, that was quick. Did you tidy up the room? I don't think he did. I'll just check, because I don't trust him. Boring laundry, done. Time for fresh air. He didn't even tidy up the room. Oh, he did. A little bit. Okay, good enough. Yeah, but let's, let's discuss this cool aquarium. 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 Daniel seems so happy to. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. Careful! Sean! Oh, shit! Got you! Seriously, man! <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> I missed that. Well, ask, ask him to lift it. Oh, this can't Daniel, end well. Can you show me the fish? Easy. Just watch. Oh, he's gonna break it, I bet. Hello, little guy. Oh. Whoa. He's beautiful. Right, so that was cool. You know, for a second there, I thought he was going to lift the entire tank. That would have been impressive in and of itself. Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Okay, time to head out. Daniel, you ready? <laughs> we can go out now. Yes, wait for me. So will we meet Chris now? I think we might because I think these were the outfits we were wearing when we saved him from falling from the treehouse. Oh, yeah, look, there it is. Finally, feels so good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin, right? Oh. Okay, let's do some part of this. Whoa. Looks pretty awesome. Lucky kid. Yeah, and as you can see there, the snowman's face is blown up. So this probably takes place just before he falls and we save him. Chris, this I place mean. is actually kind of nice. Wonder what it's like in the summer. Oh, it's probably beautiful, but it, it's more beautiful with snow. Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? Frozen shut. Of course. Ah, uh, lovely. Oh, there he is. Sean, look. Oh, yeah, this takes place. Oh. Yeah, this takes place. Exactly at the end of Captain Spirit. That's cool. And we have a red mask and everything. Because that's the color I chose in Captain Spirit when we were making our costume. Uh, 
Uh, uh, did you see that? Uh, see what? Um, I don't know what you're talking about, kid. What? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, power Bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh your friends already. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh god. Look, I, I Oh, am there so you are, sorry. you asshole. Are you okay? Oh, Dad, I'm fine. I Aww. promise. Uh, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't do you uh -oh. know them? It, it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Yes. Yeah, we can tell him. The, yeah, we can tell him the truth. They're our grandparents, or does he know about us as well? And will he rat us out? I think the outcome is going to be what you call, or what I'd like to call, static, so it doesn't really matter. He might rat us out. Oh, uh, yeah. There are grandparents. Oh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. <laughs> you I'm sorry, Egypt. buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Is it? Is it? Really? Uh, never mind. See you around. Sure. Yeah, I think Thanks, Sean guys. is pretty privy See to what's later. going on. Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel! Did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? Yeah, uh, you know, we'll concede because we can only use our powers in case of emergency or something like that when you really need to. No, you... You did the right thing. But listen, we can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me. All the time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to see more of Chris and Charles, even though Charles is a bit of an asshole. Like, I really want to sort out Chris's life and make it, you know, better. And I hope we can do that. And make it a feel-good episode. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, Danny. Danielle, Danny Yowl, Danny, Danny boy, you gonna wake up? I'm at the neighbors. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. That kid never listens. That can't be good. Oh, what, what's that under the... Ew. I don't really want to know what you're doing with that. I should get dressed to go look for Daniel. Yeah, go and draw on your slacks wherever they are. Here you go. Okay, everything looks calm and peaceful for now. Alright. Let's get readers in gear. Claire? 
Steven? Gma, Gpa? Anybody home? Okay, they left us a note. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Nice. We get to rule the roost. Morning, sleepy ants. We let you sleep in today while we're at church. Back by noon for lunch. See you in a bit. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. P.S. The Christmas tree is perfect. Good job, kids. P.S.S. Thank you for tidying up a bit. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I had news from the real world. All right, Dude, let's move your ass. Okay, yeah, Who let's sneak on. Doing over there. Okay, first I want to use Steven's computer. Jeez, Steven went search crazy. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe they stopped looking for us. Okay, where are the Diaz brothers? I blacked out this main witness of the Seattle blast after leaving hospital. Oh, okay, so our neighbor is okay. Ah. Kind of glad, but still. He, he deserved what he got. What the hell is this? I had no idea Stephen could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Hey, what? Hey, is anybody following the Seattle shooting incident? There's a lot of weird things going on that nobody can explain. How did the police officer really die? Where did this mysterious explosion come from? How did the fugitive brothers get around? Why are the police being so secretive with details? Discuss. If you have any inside scoop, please post here. Alright, so Skidoo68 says, I've been all over this. Go to fakeexplosion.url for the full story of this cover-up. The new power plant they, that they want to build in the city is definitely part of this. Looks like they want to... Wait, what? Looks like they just framed the poor kids too. GH Pimp. I saw that surveillance footage and there's no way that was a natural explosion. What's going on in Seattle? Maybe preparing for a false flag operation? I read that a motel owner saw the kids and that he said the kids blew up his toilet. Okay, that's a bit of a lie. American Eye. Did you see the news report about the brothers at the gas station? Sounds sketchy. Madman. Not everything is a conspiracy, you US wankers. <laughs> okay, that guy is awfully British, so let's try that again. Not everything is a conspiracy, you US wankers. <laughs> and lastly, Hipster Baby Doll says, My friend's parents work for the Oregon PD, and they say that there's a big secret manhunt for the two brothers. I heard they might have been used for experiments, but now they're on the run because the experiments worked and made them dangerous. I know there are experiments going on everywhere because I came from an experiment. Okay, that, yeah, that's all sketch. Uh, oh, visit Brody's blog. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, wherever that is, <laughs> you'll be much, much welcome. Wow. This article is much less creepy than it seemed back then. Okay, um, I'll just read the article on us. Okay, that's a lot. This dispatch from off the road is a tribute to a couple of new young friends I made on a recent adventure that I've yet to transcribe, or even fully process yet. I'll leave the details vague to protect the incident because, believe me, they're not guilty. But let me digress. The best part about being a professional traveller, meaning sometimes I make gas money off these dispatches, is the people you meet on the proverbial road. Of course, the worst part about being a professional traveller is the people you meet on the actual road. I've been lucky for a variety of reasons. Though I've had moments of pant-shifting fear from the highway patrol following me at night to that weird motherfucker I picked up in Iowa who wouldn't leave the car. Read that awful account here. Ultimately, I approach strangers as potential friends, if not allies. I'm that naive and stupid that the universe feels sorry for me and lets me skate by as I help people on instinct rather than objectivity. First thought. Best thought. I still hear my ex-brother, his choice, telling me years ago that you read all this curac... What? Curac? 
I can't pronounce that. Kurek crap about life on the road, but you can't even change a tire, asshole. He was right, so I learned how to change a tire. I'm not good at it, so I also have towing insurance. End of dilemma. However, I can't always give my own version of roadside assistance, including to my young companeros who needed it most. I wish I could have done more for them, maybe even joined their quest, because it's a more important journey than mine. Instead of just pushing a rock up a hill, I could have helped them move mountains out of the way. If you were hanging out again, I would ask them to forgive me for not coming along to offer whatever help I could. Then again, I'm kind of a clumsy dork and could have fucked shit up by trying to play saviour. Ah, the paralysis of analysis. My suspicion is that they really don't need me in the end, just each other. Oh, that's nice. Hey, uh, and I'll I'll leave the rest. Didn't didn't first part was just nice to, to um. To Holy see. shit! Who are these assholes? That's some fucked up hate speech. Oh, it's my Facebook page, or whatever the Life is Strange Facebook equivalent is. Cop killer, you can run, but you can't hide. This is what happens when you let cockroaches in the kitchen. Jesus. I've got a 38 bullet with you and your brother's name on it. Sleep tight. Jesus. Lila Park. Oh, Lila. I just bought you for death threats. Go back to China. Oh, Jesus. And what disgusts me is people can be this vile and repugnant online. So we have Clementine Kolchak. Hi, Mr. Diaz. I'm a reporter for Seattle Underground, and if you'd be interested in an off-the-record interview to air your side of the story, please message me at your convenience. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Sean and Daniel are not killers. You can contact me if you need info. They don't deserve exposure. Jeez, oh, that's wow. nasty. Lila seems to be having a hard time. Never seen her this salty. Oh. I should really call Lila to check on her. Is that what we're going to do now? Maybe use the phone? The phone was here, right? Oh, no, it was... It was here. Yeah, we'll give her a quick buzz on the old dog Just and a quick call can't hurt us. I need to know if Lila's okay. Yes? Lila? Hey. It's Sean. Mm. Let me Are ask you her if she's mad. Mad at me? No, I'm not mad, asshole. I mean, you literally hung up on me. Sean, it's been weeks. How could you cut me off like that? Lila, I'm so sorry. We had to hide out for a while. Plus, I ditched my phone. Never heard of pay phones? I had to lie to the police for you for fuck's sake. They grilled me for hours after your last call. Oh, I knew the phones were tapped. I knew I shouldn't have called. Fuck. And I'm doing it again. Sorry, I... I'll go now. No! Don't hang up on me, Sean. Don't you dare do it again. We're all good, Lila. Better than we've been for ages. I swear. Okay. Now, where the hell are you? Uh, we just have to say somewhere safe. Somewhere safe. Don't worry. Let's say... We found some help. For now. Really? That's what I wanted to hear. Sean... I kept seeing all these awful things happen to you. I know. I'm sorry. Please tell me about you. About high school. Anything. Other than this fucking mess. I will say how's the gang. 
even though it seems like Lala is my only friend. Like, how's the gang? Well, the guys are fine. Adam's all about this new game. Fuck. I miss our land parties. They miss you, Sean. Oh. <laughs> Ellery's now the captain of the track team. <sighs> They're kicking ass. <laughs> Considering they lost their best runner. Sure. I'm a pro runner now. And what about Lila the Love Witch? Seen someone? <laughs> No way. I'm way too busy trying not to lose my shit over you and Daniel. I've been really worried, Sean. I'm on medication. I couldn't sleep anymore. Oh, fuck. You're gonna be okay, Lila. So are we. But you have to be strong. Yeah, I can see I'll call her back or we'll see each other again. Yeah, we'll see each other again. We'll That's the best thing. Again. We just have to wait until all this blows over and they forget about us. You promise? It might be a while, but I'll try when I can. Thank you for calling, Sean. You literally saved my day. It was so cool to hear your voice, Lila. I... I gotta go look for Daniel now, but... I'm glad I called you. Oh, man. I miss you guys so much. <laughs> you better take care of yourself. <laughs> my baby boy. Give him a big hug for me. I will. You take care too, okay? Seriously. Love you, Lila. Ah, oh, that was sweet. I really miss her. Stop thinking about that. Time to go get Daniel. Yeah, th thank God I did that, because I would have left a pretty big gap in the story, I think. Well, maybe not that much of a gap, but okay. it had a bit more fluff Let's to it. Let's get this back home now. Ooh, more neighbors down here. Ah, I can't visit them, but Jesus, this is... Way out of the way. I didn't think it was that Why out of the way. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Ooh. That's your mailbox. Single dad family. Way too close to home. And I've got to turn down the music a little smidgens here. Oh. No, not master volume, but music volume. Because my last two videos did get striped, or they got claimed by um, the creators or the studio who, who makes the music for Life is Strange. <sighs> Steven and Claire are going to freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. <gasps> Daniel, what's oh. going on here? <gasps> oh, Shut I saw up. that. Wait, don't freak out. I can explain. Let me tell him. Sean... I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Oh. Objects. With my mind. Oh. A superpower. Really? Yes. Yeah, I can say that's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you <laughs> can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, we need a... Uh... Team C! 
signal. Totally. I'm gonna be super wolf. <laughs> What's your super name, Sean? Super Med. Or El Diablo Loco. I don't know. Something cool like El Diablo Loco. Mm. Sounds like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. How could you forget You're about me? Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, they'll worry, but... Yeah, sure, why not? Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Oh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. The guys with the nipples are definitely the villains. So yeah, the insectoids, villains. Hmm, okay. Dino, villain. Spear is a hero. Careful. It may be tricky. Nah. Sky Pirate is a hero. I think he... What was, what was he? The Woodland Warrior? He's definitely the a hero. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? It is pretty easy. And you're definitely a villain. I remember that. Interesting. And I'll just confirm with Chris. I'm okay. probably right. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good oh, guys. There's the wrong about the dinosaur. Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kind of took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all working for Mantroy. Who is the real super villain? You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf. You know, Daniel, to prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Oh, I'll ask him if his dad knows. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He 
he's worried about other stuff anyway. Oh, water stuff. Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire's always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. No, uh, I understand. Well, I can understand that. But I hope you know you're not alone. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, squad. that's why you're taking so Let's long. Roll. Spent like a good ten minutes in there. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. Oh, so we're at a playground now. And a grocery store, and a liquor store. Probably where we get our booze from. Or where Chris gets his uh, booze from. Or not Chris, Jesus Christ. Charles. And we're probably going to bump into Grandpa and Granddad s somewhere along the way. And we're going to get scolded, I bet. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Okay, so we have to protect the secret no matter what. Listen. Jeez, I haven't really said much for a few minutes. Jesus. You have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. I Are you? I do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Deal. I can better be. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow. So many trees. And so a little time to look at them. In fact, yeah, it it's back like in. Giant cocoons. In fact, creepy. You coming, Sean? Don't worry, I'll be around. 
Okay, so we have the automatic save there, so I think that is enough for one video. Uh, right, so we've got caught up with Captain Spirit. We've uh, met Chris and Charles. We haven't done anything spectacular. Well, we've showed Chris, or Daniel has showed Chris his powers, which was a big no-no. He should, shouldn't have done that because that is probably going to end up biting him in the ass. Biting both of them in the ass, both Chris and uh, Daniel. His dad, Chris's dad might freak out, or grandparents will freak out, and then we'll be on the lamb again in no time. In fact, I think that's probably what's going to happen. Because it just seems to be the general theme or the general error of the story that no place is safe until we reach the end goal. Which is what I hope to do in the next few days, although given my, you know, work week... This series is going to stretch out quite a bit, along with, um, what you call it, Dead Space. Because I'm very, how to say, anxious to finish Dead Space, then move on to another another series. Or what I might do for the next video is I might just find some random indie game, try that. Uh, no idea what it will be. But I've been mentioning Kingdom Hearts as well. I want to bring that game to my channel. I want to start with the second game because I played the shit out of the first game, got the Platinum... And I know I was playing through the second game at, at some point. I can't remember whether it was on the PS3 or the PS4. Because I do have the remastered collection. And I haven't really played much of it, to be honest. I haven't even played Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. Jesus Christ, I've had that since day one. Yikes. Uh, but yeah, so far the game is still as solid as ever. It's, um, you know, great, great dialogue, great er everything. Can't really overpraise it just yet because we haven't gotten to the end but so far it still has the same qualities and aspects of the Life is Strange series that we expect. Again, bar Life is Strange Before the Storm, that game was kind of uh, a small bit. It wasn't that bad but like I said, it's, it was a little Chloe and Rachel eccentric. Yeah, well, that's just my opinions. And anyway, guys, I should end the video right here so you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video by some miracle, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share, and of course, like always, I will see you guys in the next one. So until next time, see ya.